Hello, my name is Gwen, and today we'll explore a somatic pose called hurdle. In hurdle, it's a seated posture, so you the wall is a beautiful thing. You can come into hurdle with um, leaning into the wall or the back of a couch, so you don't have to be sitting right up. You can also bring your blanket underneath your sit bone so that it might give you a little bit more um, forward motion in this pose. So explore all those details and have your strap close by. If you have um, two blankets, roll one. If one's underneath your um, sit bones, leave it there and roll the other. Have that close by or you can use anything to bring underneath your your knee. And then have both legs extended. Let the toes dance a wee bit. We'll start with our, our right leg. So bring your hands underneath the left leg and just drag it up. Give it a little hug into the belly and then let it come outward. So if it's hovering like mine is, you might need a block underneath so you can find some effortlessness. We'll need this blanket in a little bit. So leave it off to your side and bring either a book or something underneath that leg if, it, if it's hovering. And then we'll bend the other side. We'll give it a little hug in and then release. Here's where you can double up on your strap just for some more fabric to grip onto. You can even fold it another time. So this is for the extension of our arms. And then bring that right behind the ball of your foot and then press into the strap and feel where that is gripping in the arms. It might feel like light traction through the shoulders. Pull back a wee bit and press down through that heel and then relax that effort. Give that leg a little hug and then outward just a wee bit. And again, press into the strap pull back through the arms. The eyes are closed here so that you can witness all of these contractions and then press down through the heel. Notice all of that mingling of the muscles switching on here and then relax that effort. Give that leg a little hug. And then again, just outward a hair. Go ahead and lasso that foot. Pull back just a wee bit, bit, press inward, press downward through the heel. Eyes are closed. You can feel and sense the whole body working very hard here. And then relax that effort. From here, thread the blanket underneath the knee and let the leg rest down. Bring the hands into the edges. And this is where you have the option to take the strap around the foot, gather where you can feel a little something but, but not too much through the back body. The nose can be pointed towards the toes for a brief moment and then down towards the knee. You have the option to allow the head to hang. The elbows can rest a little more. With the eyes closed, you can point the nose to the knee, to the toes, and then back down. And then let it hang. Maybe two more times to the knee, to the toes, and then all the way back. Feel 
what it's like to let it hang this time. Can you soften through the belly, the back of the shoulders, the muscles around the back of the pelvis? And how about one more? Draw that line to the toes and then all the way back and ha. And then loosen your grip on the strap. Take both legs out, a little drum roll. And then over to the other side. So let yourself get comfortable with your props. You might need your block on the other side. Take a hold underneath the knee. Like it's made of china, gently help it. Support it. Offer it some assistance. Then let it come outward. As it comes outward, the foot can come inward. And then you can use your, your props. Wherever it feels good. By the ankle maybe. By the hip. Behind the knee. Find where it feels good every day, a new body, every moment. So notice what it's like in this moment. And then go ahead and bring the hands behind the other knee. Drag the heel. Give it a light little hug into the belly. And find your starting point. So you're going to choose three different locations. So have it um, close by. Take your strap once again. And if you notice that you were reaching quite a bit last leg, maybe only double it up. So explore. And then press through the, the big toe mound underneath the toes into the strap. And then pull back. Close the eyes as the heel presses down. Notice the muscles on this side engage and then relax and then hug that leg into the belly and then choose another spot just a little further out as the strap comes into the uh, transverse arch press pull back let the heel come down notice the engagement of the muscles maybe even the core and then you relax and give that leg a hug and then we'll choose one more spot outward. Lasso. As you press into the strap, you pull back. Press down through the heel. Feel the engagement of the muscles. And then relax that effort. Take the blanket, rolled blanket underneath the thigh or the knee. Whatever feels delicious. And then option to bring the strap behind uh, the foot and then make that connection now with the nose to the toes you can walk the hands a little further it'll be a little more of a fold and what does that feel like in the targeted area of the back of the pelvis outer hips and is it okay to draw that line down with the nose all the way nose to knee connection Feel the back of the neck and then relax that effort. Let the head hang. Elbows can sink downward. Take a breath, two or three. Exhale through the mouth. And one more. Keep this shape and draw that line with the nose to the toes. Notice all the little twinges, the twings and the pings in the outer hips, the spine. Notice what this feels like as you let the head go this time. Deep inhales, deep exhales. And then draw that line last time. 
nose to the toes connection, all the way back to the knee. Let the head hang. And then enjoy rolling all the way up, up, up. Here's where you can take both legs outward, paddle the toes just a wee bit. And then we'll take the strap around both feet. Feel the heels come down, press into the, the feet, press back through both feet, close the eyes, and then relax that effort. Fold down, nose to knee, let the head hang, brief here. Relax through the jaw for one more breath here. And then allow the whole body to roll back up. Let's come into our Shavasana. Leave the, the blanket where it is. Underneath the thighs or the legs. Close the eyes and let your back body come into the mat. With the eyes closed, the hands can be by your side or on the belly. Let the toes have a little light little wriggle. A little rock to the back of the skull as you witness the targeted area of the back of the pelvis. The outer hips. The back of the legs, the hamstrings. Notice how it feels to come into these areas to recharge and emerge renewed. Allow yourself enough time to rest here. Let go of the breath, the muscles. Feel free to stay here for as long as you like. And thank you for your practice. Namaste.